in the five lords that live forever, known as the dragons, the green lions, unicorns, the phoenix, dragon bird, and the salamander. These are the five lords born in uh, the favored kings with Delphi. The dragon's fire who is able to take the metal substance of all living creation noted to be blood or uh, flesh. Pretty much everything in the world is made of a metallic substance in the, in the likeness of mankind, God, and the element in the likeness of mankind. The, the one favored with the dragon's archangels able to take that metal substance and purify it seven times into a gold or silver in the asking of purity in salvation. Only him who is able to enter into heaven into the serpent's cut. Not all of the people who are alive in hell, but able to go past hell and enter into heaven as a hermaphrodite soul, a soul that is interchangeable between male and female, a purebred soul, an alpha male and female soul in the ark. In this, uh, metal cloud or metal clay metal golem metal dust um, where the the nature withers and dies into the ground where the the creatures the critters the birds the fish people where the clouds fall into the dirt and the ground there is gold and silver and the one who is inherited its land to tithe to ask God for this purity and salvation to take from the land and tithe it back into the uh, the great ark of all of the alpha hermaphrodites both male and female interchangeable souls mostly heavyweight babies uh, born of uh, one of the lords the, the dragon lord, uh, the green lion lord, the unicorn lord, um, Hesperus, the phoenix, dragon bird lord of Jesus Christ, and the salamander lord of Apollo. The green lion, I'm not sure um, of its beastery, but uh, the white lion and the red lion is said to be something of... Uh, scriptures um, applauded in alchemy in this uh, revelation of deception in self the hermaphrodite interchangeable within true judgment and overcoming that that uh, church of using the lord's name in vain mostly noted in livestock sacrifice as the golden bull uh, arc mostly noted with Caesar who is uh, with many women and how he gets his powers those women are in his clutches by livestock sacrifice and they give birth to children and he steals from their children that birth that lust that is closest to God and Caesar comes against us all Every, all of us, the deception within every hermaphrodite soul that is interchangeable between male and female and being coveted by a woman who is in the clutches of Caesar, even in the law that practices with these women in the clutches of Caesar that purposely seek out God's children of potent fertility and being invented in these 
uh, fertility is dying from God, having a piece of uh, that flesh of the Holy Ghost, that cloud, that lust, that uh, holy mountain up above that is in uh, only in the alpha, interchangeable male and female in the ark, only able to be purified in them that are exalted um, with the vile childbirth, which mostly is Caesar's uh, children. The, the, the women that work for him and the women that become law doctors, the majority of the world is a strip club. And in some states, not so much. And in other states, a large community of governmental systems being strip clubs and I'm not I'm not saying that there is anything wrong with that but in the interchangeable uh, so hermaphrodite both male and female heavyweight baby in the ark it is something that we are forced to expose and keep contact with those that know us that the soul is not interchanged from a male naturally born into this world into a female by Caesar's law. Caesar's children being not just Caesar's children, but the livestock sacrifice and the many covenants that Beowulf made or Odin made in Beowulf, and one of them being Caesar uh, in the times of uh, the the great lords and the gods were being established in the, in the natural reflection of self in nature um, as, as carbon Adam is noted the mark 666 and a tree as Jesus Christ describes an old man had exclaimed I see trees as people and Jesus Christ spit in his eyes and says now what do you see he says I see people and the tree most notably known as mostly carbon 666 and that tree the only tree in this world talked about in religion is the tree of Judah established in Levi in the flesh when Jesus comes down to speak in the flesh in that hermaphrodite soul in the ark Jesus the the ark carrier the last known ark carrier who was filled with everybody iniquity from alpha to mixed breed to uh, life death all things creatures nature animals fish birds Jesus Christ was filled with all of these things and put to a cross that he was the carrier known as the savior of the ark for he had given his life, his soul, all of, all of him, he had given himself to flesh and blood that, that that lives in this world, Caesar, Muslim, flesh, Egyptian, whatever, I'm not I'm not speaking out of hatred and anger. I'm speaking out of a filled cup of hatred and anger. I'm normally a peaceful man. And the Ark Xerxes had been sacrificed in California. And then California comes over here to Texas. And my cup gets lit up with measuring a church, man. A penis fish sacrificed in the, in the seas of California. And the penis fish being the rod of childbirth. And in that rod of childbirth, being closest to God, dying from God in that lust, like it reads in James 1.15, being eaten by the griffin bird as the penis fishes upon me, or uh, another one of Poseidon's children, the earthworm, and so on. What other, whatever other covenant that rise up from the land, and what other covenants rise up from the sea. I'm a part of right now and I am measuring the church. One of them is the earth one. Like, the, like it reads in Revelations 11. And the other one is the penis fish. 
there are two witnesses and there are two um, analogies of the Bible. One with nine kings, that's Delphi, and one with eight kings, and the eighth king is the same as the seventh and is set up for destruction. This is the, the rationality, rationality between the two analogies of the Bible. Um, four of them are the horsemen, and three of them are a part of the nine kings, which equals up to twelve heads, twelve constellations. And three of them are also a part of the eight kings, which takes away in his five, five lords. This is the um, harsh reality of the union between Levi and Judah. One, inseparable, and one, the ark, the alpha hermaphrodite, soul interchangeable between male and female. The larger the covenant, the greater the act, or the greater the substance of universal uh, fixations between the uh, self-indulging covet of a woman upon a man who has a soul born of God, and so on. Whatever the purpose, the, the preacher's baptism with Caesar, and the deception with other others, angels and demons, by all of the the, the male and female parents that hate their children, they hate God, or they hate themselves, as it reads in James 15, 1, 15 James 1.15, the gold and the silver child of the union, the one who is able to purify, speak off of the pure lust, the pure greed, the pure wrath, the pure gluttony, the pure uh, pride, the pure lust, all of those seven sins in the holy mountains that are talked about in Revelations and so on. The mother and the father who give birth to their children in these preachers who baptize the old folks. And the old folks die with their children. The children that hate their mother and their father. The children that hate themselves and do not um, carry the reconciliation of uh, themselves being born into the world. And, and so on, and then the parents, they take it off of it, or uh, the, the child dies by not being a loyal uh, family member, or whatever the purpose, and God knows that I've, I've been through enough of my life as a, as a beat subject or servant in the, in the practice of deception. Many a times had I learned a lesson, and it is a great lesson to learn, but had I never faced such a huge covet of woman where my soul is actually more feminine than it is masculine when I'm uh, not naturally born with Hades and all of those seven sins, I'm just a part of what is written with 144,000 just as the other saints that are practiced upon for whatever purpose in the covenant, which is a theft and uh, all heavy weight babies uh, to shape a rebirth, to shape a birth, a man into a woman, a queer, or uh, the hermaphrodite soul that is not triumphant, able to sit at the throne of God as the sword of light that sees through the darkness, whatever purpose. I mean, I can ramble on about all of the things that I have learned in my time of uh, being with the church, with the church, the deception, the seven sins, with the holy mountain. I can ramble on and on and on and on, but nothing really takes place unless I stir the well of the real Illuminati above, that, that the gatekeeper sacrifices the story of German Game, the story of Dar, in the courts of Bahala, if I stir the wells up throughout the entirety of the country, which we all live in hell, we all are born through hell, dying from God, into this world in the belly of a woman 
if I put myself to a cross by shepherding in such a manner that makes a, a great president or governor step out of his normal procedures that come against me like it was written with Herod and Jesus and Joseph and Mary Magdalene and the rest of the tree, if, if I stir the wells to that amount, then it then it comes to an, a crossing, an end of uh, the offering of what a pre preacher's baptism or a stalking Muslim with all his money in his pocket from a musician or football nationality or some other uh, great reign in the world that makes a lot of money. Whatever the case, I don't, I don't speak to anger in a union, myself. I speak to keep myself. I listen to my recordings every day until this is over. Peace, brother Jesus. Stand, st stand strong that thou may not be defrauded by a brother. The Lord's name and faith. All in the law.